One of the goals with the Lone Peak Camper is that you can be off-grid and have power, power fridge, power all of your accessories, have comfort and confidence in the backcountry when you're adventuring. We do that with our power plate system. It has three different components on it. The first component is a thousand watt inverter. It has two normal plugs, so you can power whatever electronics you want, coffee pots, microwaves. Some people get crazy out there. I just charge my laptop and drones and things like that. Um, this runs off of a separate battery that we'll talk about in a second that's in the bed of your truck. Um, and the question is, how do you recharge that battery? So there are two different charges here. Uh, we use a company called Victron Energy. Uh, they're an incredible company that makes really high quality chargers. We partner with them for our electronics and we're extremely happy with their products. So the charger over here on the right is called a DC to DC charger. And what this means is that this is connecting to your truck's main battery, which your alternator provides power to, and that in turn charges when your truck um, is running. And so you can set all those voltages of when you want the charging to turn on, when you want it to turn off. It's all really intuitive. Uh, we don't actually hook it up for you. If you guys buy this from us, you guys can do that on your own. Uh, but that is what that charger is for. It's a 30 amp charger. Uh, it charges your battery really quickly. And we see that as your primary charger when you're adventuring. Because most of the time you're driving around, it keeps your battery topped off. So you never have to worry about your battery draining. Number two is the solar charger. So solar charger is what you think. You hook up your solar panel to this, which we hook up our 520 watt overkill solar panel. Um, this receives up to 100 volts. So if you even had a bigger solar panel, uh, you could use that. And um, solar is, think of it, if we're parked like this, uh, I was just camping for a week in, uh, in Cannon Beach. And whenever we were surfing, my truck was parked, but my, tr my battery was charging because I had um, my solar panels up. Um, and with the overkill panel, even if you have a little bit of sun, you still charge. And again, keep your battery topped off when you're not driving. So you can have two scenarios to keep your battery charged so that you can have power to run your accessories.